because the reality is that not everyone is going to be as tidy as you. And even if you design the perfect system, it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone's going to follow it. Would you recommend using subfolders for subdivisions within departments? For example, sales, phone setters, direct message, phone sales. Would that be one folder sales with subfolders for phone setters or would they all be in separate folders? Thank you, love your channel. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Here's my recommendation on folders. I think if you're a small business owner, you wanna try and keep things as simple as possible. Sometimes in the desire to keep things organized, small business owners can go a little overzealous and over technical their way into different design. And what I mean by that is you may create like 13 or 15 or 20 different folders and try and have everyone perfectly organize everything into those. My recommendation is that you set a simple business structure and you allow your team to work within that simple business structure because the reality is that not everyone is gonna be as tidy as you. And even if you design the perfect system, it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone's gonna follow it. Now, if you're a small business, let's say you've got less than 20 employees, you probably wanna keep a simple folder structure. And I would say less than 10 overall areas of business in their own separate folders. If you've got a larger organization, 50, 100, or a couple of thousand employees, well, then you might look to create some more sophisticated folder structures. But keep in mind that the most important thing that folders are used for is security permissions. And so you wanna have a corresponding security group for each one of your folders. Now, I've got a great video on that, on how to create your ideal Google folder structure on the channel. Go ahead and check that out. What that will show you is how to set up group-based permissions. And with your group-based permissions, then apply them to folders. And what I like about that is the ability to have each one of your areas of business in a simple folder. Now, how many subfolders should you create? Well, the general rule is that you shouldn't really create more than about five or six subfolders once you've actually created a folder tree because Google's pretty damn efficient at being able to search. And especially online, the search feature works really great. And so my recommendation is try and limit the amount of folders that you have unless you really have a reason to split up the folders and create additional levels of depth as much as possible. Try and reduce the folders by just creating simple logical areas of business and have everyone following suit from there. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.